Welcome to our video on what type of mouth guard is right for you. Whether you're looking for a customized fitted mouth guard or a stock one, you've come to the right place. We'll cover boil and bite, stock, vacuum form, and other types of mouth guards, and how to find the right one for your needs. Also, you'll find out the pros and cons of each type, and how they differ from one another. Keep watching to discover the benefits of each type of mouth card, and how you can choose the best one for you. Custom Fitted Mouth Cards Custom fitted mouth cards are more comfortable than store-bought versions because they are made with an impression on your mouth. They are also less likely to interfere with the way you talk, swallow, or breathe. The cut of custom fitted mouth cards is also crucial for comfort. Athletes often request specific cuts in the mouthpieces. The end result is a custom fitted mouth card that fits your teeth like a glove. Custom fitted mouth cards are designed specifically for each individual athlete. The custom fitted material is designed to be thinner and more flexible, which allows it to mold to your mouth. This material is thinner and more flexible than conventional plastic mouth cards, making it easier to fit a mouth card and avoid discomfort. But, they're still more expensive, so it's worth the investment. A custom fitted mouth card is a more durable choice. The most common type of custom fitted mouth guard is the vacuum form type. This is the type made by the dental profession. This type of mouth card offers excellent protection and minimal interference with speaking. They're made using a single sheet of EVA polyvinyl acetate polyethylene copolymer, which is then placed over a stone model and suctioned to fit the mouth shape. When choosing a custom fitted mouth guard, it's important to consider what activities your athlete will be involved in. If they are involved in heavy contact sports, a thicker mouth guard is necessary. Low contact sports, on the other hand, can use thinner mouth guards. And if they are not as intense, they are still effective in protecting teeth and avoiding concussions. That's what a custom fitted mouth card is for. Boil and bite mouth cards. There are two types of boil and bite mouth cards, thermoplastic and shell liner. Both are mouth formed protective devices made from thermoplastic or silicone rubber. The former is pre-molded and placed into the player's mouth. Once molded to the player's teeth, the appliance is placed in boiling water for about 10 to 15 seconds and transferred to ice cold water. Known as a boil and bite mouth cards, these mouth cards are the most common type. Approximately 90% of the population participates in sports where these mouth cards are required. Boil and bite mouth card products are available in a variety of styles and colors. The most common boil and bite mouth cards are sold at drug stores and can be customized to fit your teeth. To fit your mouth properly, you must first heat the mouth card in boiling water. Once the mouth card is cooled, it must be dried in air to prevent mold damage. In some cases, however, the boil and bite mouth card should not be placed in cool water. This is noted in the instructions. Custom-made mouth cards are designed to fit the specifics of your mouth and are more expensive than store-bought versions. They also offer better fit and retention than boil and bite mouth cards. While custom-made mouth guards are the best choice, boil and bite mouth guards can be purchased at most sporting goods stores. They are usually fabricated over a stone model to fit a person's mouth. For an adult, the Confi Dental Mouth Guard is an excellent choice. This mouth guard protects the upper teeth and is inexpensive. The Confi Dental Guard has more than 37,000 Amazon reviews and an attractive price. Aside from being inexpensive, it is a popular choice for martial arts training. The Confi Dental Mouth Guard is easy to use, comfortable and comes in a large range of colors and designs. Stock Mouth Cards Stock mouth cards are the most affordable and widely available mouth cards, but they are also the least protective. They are available in a few different sizes and are not custom made, making them an inappropriate choice for athletes. Furthermore, because of their limited size options, they are uncomfortable to wear, and their inability to stay in place causes breathing issues. To solve these issues, athletes usually alter stock mouth cards, reducing their protective properties and compromising their comfort. Compared to custom-made mouth cards, stock mouth cards are very inexpensive and one-size-fits-all. However, they don't offer the type of fit and protection necessary to protect your teeth during high-impact sports. Stock mouth cards can be easily purchased at sporting goods stores, drug stores, or online. 
Custom fitted mouth guards can cost anywhere from $190 to $500, and most dental insurance plans don't cover their cost. In addition, stock mouth guards are often made of cheap materials and are therefore not the best choice for athletes. Although they are cheap, stock mouth guards can be uncomfortable and aren't customized to fit your teeth properly. Furthermore, they can cause breathing problems and can even irritate your mouth if they're not fitted properly. To avoid these problems, boil and bite mouth guards are a good choice for athletes. While they're still inexpensive, they're the least comfortable and least protective of all the types of mouth guards. While stock mouth guards can provide adequate protection, they have a poor fit. Boil and bite mouth guards can be found at sporting goods stores. You can boil and bite mouth guards in hot water to soften them. Once softened, the mouth guards are placed in your mouth and pressed on your teeth with your fingers. Then, you can bite and chew it until it sets. But it's important to note that boiling and biting mouth guards offer better comfort than stock mouth guards. However, it is best to consult a dentist to determine whether these mouth guards will be ideal for you. Vacuum Form Mouth Guards Researchers tested vacuum and pressure formed mouth guards to compare their thicknesses. The thickness of mouth guards varied between the two methods but was greater in the case of the pressure formed mouth guard. They also measured fit by measuring the mouth guard's thickness at the buccal and labial surfaces of the central incisor and the first molar. They analyzed the differences using a two-way analysis of variance, ANOVA, and the Bonferroni method. Vacuum-formed mouth guards can be purchased at most sports shops for about $200. They have a variety of advantages, ranging from being cheaper to providing better protection. The main disadvantage of vacuum-formed mouth guards is that they are bulkier and do not fit very well. In contrast, pressure laminated mouth guards are more comfortable but provide little protection. While the cost of vacuum-formed mouth guards is low, the advantages of the dry model technique are many. The American Dental Association estimates that athletic mouth guards prevent over 200,000 injuries annually. Vacuum-formed mouth guards are made of a single piece of a pliable material that molds around the upper and lower teeth in one piece. Parr believes that soft material is a good choice for mouth guards because it protects the teeth and mandible, preventing TMJ problems. Further, vacuum-formed mouth guards are easier to clean than traditional mouth guards. These mouth guards protect the lower jaw and reduce the risk of damage to the back teeth. When a blow is delivered to the lower jaw, cusp fractures or complete root fractions can result. A combination of these factors reduces the risk of concussions and improves player confidence. Vacuum-formed mouth guards are also available for other sports. It is important to use these mouth guards when participating in high-risk sports, since they are comfortable and fit well. Occlusal splints The occlusal splint is a removable dental appliance that helps protect the teeth, muscles, and jaw joints. Many people with TMJ disorder wear splints during sleep to prevent damage. However, the effectiveness of splints in managing TMD is still unclear. While many studies claim that splints can reduce nocturnal bruxism, there has been little scientific validation. When a patient wears an occlusal splint for a mouth guard, they must follow the instructions of their oral health care professional. Patients should not wear the splint all the time and they should visit the dentist regularly for adjustments. A splint may also break in the area of the last molars, which can cause an anterior open bite. However, many people find the splints comfortable and tolerate them. The advanced occlusal splint works to reposition the jaw muscles and prevent bruxism while sleeping. It is created with a mold of the patient's mouth and is fitted to the patient's teeth. It prevents the jaw muscles from overexerting themselves, ensuring the protection of the natural teeth while they are asleep. Occlusal splints are useful for many other purposes as well, such as parafunctional activity correction and temporomandibular joint disorders. Occlusal splint designs vary from case to case. The most common splint design is the full upper arch flat plane stabilization splint. One design is the Michigan splint. These guides detail the clinical stages of creating an appliance and how to use it. The Michigan splint is the most common type and is often used. For more information, visit the website below. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more.